It's July the 25th, this is GameSpot News, I'm Jess McDonald, and you're watching me read out some news on the internet, so I do hope you enjoy the next two to three minutes. Today in the gaming world, some things that may or may not have been happening are officially not happening. Really, those were the main three stories of today. The first thing that isn't happening is that there will not be a second Borderlands 2 season pass. Gearbox have told Polygon that they were clear from the beginning that the game's season pass would only consist of the first four add-on campaigns. As a result, Borderlands 2 fans who are hoping to grab extra DLC, such as the upcoming Bolt Hunter Upgrade Pack 2, will have to pay for it themselves. In the grand debate between narrative and gameplay, Nintendo have decided that the new Super Smash Bros. game will be aligned fiercely with the latter. Creator Masahiro Sakurai has confirmed the game will have no story mode or cutscenes as a result of Brawl's movie scenes being leaked onto the internet. Sakurai has said that he sees viewing cutscenes as a reward and if people have seen them, they shouldn't be included at all, which seems just a little rash. Then again, whether you're bothered by the lack of a story or not, you will still be able to drag your menacing water can into battle as the terrifying villager, so it's all good. In other Nintendo finding ways to bug you all news, the publisher is not taking applications from Japanese indie devs at the current time. For reasons that are not at all well explained, a form on the 2013 GDC website, which invites potential Wii U devs to complete a questionnaire for an opportunity to be contacted by Nintendo, explicitly states they are not accepting applicants from devs located in Japan. According to the company, this is related to licensing activities, and that's about as explicit as that explanation gets. So there you go, it's a bad day to be a Borderlands 2 fan holding out for extra DLC, a Japanese indie dev or a Super Smash fan who likes narrative. Let us know in the comments down below if you care about a storyless Super Smash Brothers or you can contact me directly at Jess McDonald or by using our GSU's hashtag. You can subscribe to us on YouTube or head over to our GameSpot News Hub for more of this week's news. This is it from us today, but we've got our top five stories for you tomorrow where you can grab all of this week's biggest news and we change the set. Pretty intense. We'll see you then.